Happening today, Hawaii's men are marching as allies in the fight against domestic violence. Cat TV4's Aaron Coogan joins us now live from Iolani Palace, where Aaron is in just a few minutes and hours. The 29 men's march will be kicking off. Yeah, good morning to you, Cynthia. Well, this is about Hawaii's men taking a stand as a united front, you know, engaging in conversations that are critical, but also sometimes difficult uh, about violence in the community. I'm joined by Daniel Ipa this morning. He's going to be one of the keynote speakers today, the founder of the Coup Project. Thank you so much for joining me. This is such a critical conversation that we need to engage everyone yes. in the community about. Yeah, you know, it's really important to bring more awareness to the issue, right? A lot of people think it's a women's issue for violence, but it's really a societal issue, and men play a really important role role in eradicating it from our homes, our communities, and even within our world, too. A really startling statistic from the DOH, over 13 percent of Hawaii residents report some kind of domestic violence sometime in their lifetime. And, you know, with our small island community, everyone knows everyone, right? So it's really not only an issue if it doesn't impact you directly, it somehow impacts you. Yeah, you know, like, again, that statistic was one in three people, mm -hmm. women especially, have experienced violence or abuse within their lifetime. So that hits home. So as men, as Kane too, we have a kuleana responsibility to be that symbol of strength, but in more empathetic and more compassionate and lead with aloha instead, you know. So it's trying to bring men together to show that you're not alone. You know, you have support. Um, we're here for you. And, you know, it's just a really important issue that we need to take care of. Community leaders, trusted faces like yourself, uh, the mayor's going to be here, the, the chief of police is going to be here. How important is it to have those, you know, trusted figures kind of out there, outspoken about the issue as well? You know, because sometimes when we look at violence, it becomes a very private matter, mm -hmm. but really it is a collective, it, it demands a collective action. So we need to get more and more leaders involved in this to, you know, to be that symbol, to be out there in the public, sharing about the importance of taking care as men, taking care of ourselves in order to take care of others as well. Not always uh, an easy topic to talk about. It's not because sometimes men feel like it's too much for them to like share, mm -hmm. you know, but for myself, I feel it's very important that we talk about this stuff. You know, we share our vulnerabilities and we make it open to the public that it's we're, we're safe, we're symbols of safeness and safety. Well, the 29th Men's March Against Violence kicking off here at 12 o'clock. You're not going to want to miss the incredible speakers like Daniel and joining uh, as part of that march. For